Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my bathroom. So if it sounds a little bit echoey, it's because I'm using my rush room. So today I am filming my skincare routine, what I use to take off my makeup. I have tons of stuff. I do use a lot of things um, to take care of my skin. And yeah, I will just go through them individually. I was originally going to do a voiceover, but I thought maybe doing a talk through is going to be a little bit better. So let's go ahead and get started. I always like to pull my hair up in a bun just to keep all my petals away from my face um, because I have to wash it and all that fun stuff. Now, when I take off my makeup, I always start with my eyelashes. And I try to be as gentle as possible, but we know that ain't happening. So just take them off. And there goes an eyelash. And then we shall take off the second one. So after I've taken off, let me take off my watch too. After I take off my eyelashes, I usually just remove my whole makeup with olive oil, but I, I mean with coconut oil, but I just ran out of it, so I'm not going to use that today. But for my face, um, or to remove my makeup, I do like using these makeup remover cleansing towelettes. These are the Aqua Beauty um, brand, which is kind of like knockoffs of other brands. This one is compared to the Neutrogena and I love these swipes. They're not too harsh on my face or my eyes, which is why I like them. And they're not too um, wet. I don't like Dwayas that are like super wet. So I'm just going to take my makeup remover and I usually like to start with my lips and take that off. And then I'll just take off all my makeup with this. So now I have almost, well, I mean, technically all my makeup is off, but I still have to go in and cleanse my skin. I know that I look scary right now, so please don't get scared. Now, after I've taken off um, my makeup, what I like to do is I like to wash my face. And I have been using for almost four months this little brush right here. This is the Spin for Better Skin Brush and I got this online. I love this brush. This has changed my skin and so, what the hell? This brush has literally changed and saved my skin. I, I just love using it. It comes it comes with different brushes, um, but I'm not going to go into detail. Unless you guys want me to do a review on this, then I will. But it comes with two different brushes um, as far as the little heads. This one is the one that's a little bit rougher, which will exfoliate your skin. My skin is used to being exfoliated, so I don't have a hard time using this. But if your skin is sensitive, then you, you can start with the one that's a little bit softer. But this is what I use to take off or just to um, clean my skin, especially when I wear a lot of makeup. And I also have been using this Clinique Liquid Facial Soap. And this is for, I think, dry to combination skin. My boyfriend actually got me this for Valentine's Day. And as you can see, I've used quite a bit. This has also changed my skin for the best. I love it and I will continue to purchase it. So yeah, so what I like to do is I like to wet my face, apply this all over, and then I like to go in with my brush and I like to massage it all over my skin just to make sure that I'm getting right into every little piece of my face. I usually take about 10 seconds on each piece of my face and then I'll just really get it into my nose and just right here where I have large pores and then as well as my forehead. Right now I do have some breakouts here and here because I had an allergic reaction to something. Um, so yeah, I just exfoliate all over my skin and then I like to bring it down to my neck. So after I wash my face, I usually like to use a mask and I'll do this one once a week but right now I've been doing it a lot lately because I do have still those breakouts from that allergic reaction that I got. This is my holy grail mask. This is the Health and Beauty 
Astic Secret Indian Healing Clay. It's the world's most powerful facial and this stuff is no joke. It's so amazing. It pulls out all the dirt, all the gunk that's in your face and you can feel it pulsating while it dries and uh, you're suited literally like this. Like you can't move your mouth because it's so stiff. I love it. My boyfriend loves using it with me. Now it recommends for you to use it with apple cider vinegar which stinks and it stings as well but it works amazing or you can just use it with water. What I like to do is I like to use a little measuring thing. I use about one teaspoon. Teaspoon? Yeah, I use about one teaspoon of this because honestly a little goes a long way. You don't need too much. I take about that much and then I take it on a bowl like this and then I will grab my apple cider vinegar which is this one by Heinz and I'll also take one teaspoon of it and then throw it in there and that's usually like the perfect combination for my skin or as well I, I mean as far as the mixture and then I take an old makeup brush like this and then I'll just stir that together and this stuff smells so gross. You want a consistency kind of like this. Not too watery, but not too thick. And then I'm going to apply it to my problematic areas where I have those breakouts. To my cheeks. And then I like to do two layers, um, just so it can be nice and thick. And that is it. And then I just let this sit for about 15, yeah, about 15 minutes until I feel my face get really, really hard. And then um, I will go ahead and take it off. So after I take off my mask, my skin feels really tight from everything that I've applied to my face. So the next step that I do is I take my Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Stress Control Triple Action Toner. And this will just bring all the pH balance back to your face. Because we did strip natural oils from our face, we want to replenish that. And I love this because it also treats acne before it even emerges. I've been using this for maybe two years. Um, and I love it. I really, really like it. The only thing that I don't like is that when you do have some pimples, this shit burns like a mofo. But I'm going to take that on a little thingamabob. And I'm just going to apply it all over the skin. Ooh. Then I'm going to go in with my Provise Oil-Free Tonic. And this is infused with antioxidants and it neutrifies your skin. It just makes it look really nice and radiant the next day. I got this in my BoxyCharm, I think two months ago and I've been using it ever since. I'm almost done with it. I'm like this much because I use it in the mornings and at night. So what I do is I'll grab some product and then I'll take about five drops and it's literally like water and then I'll just rub it all into my skin. And then I'll just let that sink in for a minute. Now after I've applied that and once that's nice and settled into the skin, um, I'm going to go in with my Pure Dior Professional Strength 20% uh, Vitamin C Serum. I love this stuff. It makes my skin feel so soft. And all I need is one pump. Because it's kind of, I don't know, it has a really strange consistency if you massage it it kind of like lathers up a little bit and it smells really citrusy so I apply that to my forehead to my cheeks and then down my neck and then I'll just massage it then 
I'll let that sink in. Another thing that I love to use and I barely have anything left. I've had this for so long. This is um, vitamin E oil. And um, this is by the brand uh, Up and Up, which is a Target brand. I love this stuff. I've also been using it for a, probably about a year and vitamin E is amazing. I'll take just a little bit and I'll actually apply that underneath my eyes. I just kind of let that sink in. Then I grab just a tiny bit more and I bring it to the top of my eyelids. And then from that same um, oil, I'm going to take some to my lips. And then I'll just let that be. Now the last thing that I do um, is I take this First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Overnight Mask. So what this does, it'll brighten your skin, it'll even um, your skin tone, and it'll nourish it. So it's not like a mask. If you've heard of this, then you know what I'm talking about, but it's just like cream I don't know so I just take about this much not too much because it's pretty thick and it says you're supposed to take a thick layer and then I'll just rub that in between my hands and then I'll apply that all over my face And after that, I am completely done. I know that these are a lot of steps, but I've just been trying to take care of my skin a lot more, especially because I'm 25 and I am halfway to 30. Because I want to make sure that by the time that my skin starts looking a little bit more mature, that it's going to be as youthful as it can be. Um, so yeah, let me know what your favorite products are. I am always on the hunt for something new. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!